Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I would like to continue my lesson, which is Chapter 1, Pattern and Sequences, Subtopic 1.3, Patterns and Sequences. For the students first joining my class, don't forget to like and subscribe my video. Come, let's start our class. Let's have a look on the learning standard. 1.3.1, make generalizations about the pattern of a sequence using numbers, words, and algebraic expressions. Before we start our class today, please recall back the previous lesson. Can you give definitions of patterns and sequences? Patterns are a list of numbers or objects arranged based on a rule or design. While sequence is a set of numbers or objects Arranged according to a certain pattern. Let's start our lesson today. Determine pattern of a sequence using numbers, words, and algebraic expressions. Let's have a look on the first example. Describe the pattern for the number sequence 8, 17, 26, 35, and 45 by using numbers, words, and algebraic expressions. Okay, let's have a look on how we describe the pattern using numbers. Okay, we write out the sequence, identify the pattern. Okay, from this sequence, we notice that it's in increasing. Okay, so from 8 to 17, we notice that the pattern is at 9. Try to check out for the continuous terms. Okay. To identify or determine or to confirm whether the pattern is at 9 or not. Okay, so we can see from 17, when we add 9, we also can get 26. Okay, then after we add 9, we can get 35. At 9, we can get 45. Okay, therefore, we can make a conclusion that the pattern is plus 9. Okay, we need to describe the pattern using numbers. Therefore, we write out the symbol plus and the number 9. Next, we need to describe the pattern of a sequence using words. Okay. From the previous answer, we notice that the pattern for this sequence is at 9. Okay. So, we now we need to write out the patterns using words or describe in a sentence. Okay, therefore, we write in a sentence, the pattern for the above sequence is at 9 to the previous number. Next, we need to describe the pattern using algebraic expressions. Do you remember what is algebraic expressions? Can you give examples on it? Algebraic expression is an expression which has a combination of basic mathematical operations on numbers, okay, variables or other mathematical entities, okay. Example, 2x plus y or 3b minus 1. Do you remember that? What is algebraic expressions? Okay, let's see how we use algebraic expressions to describe the patterns of a sequence, okay. So for the sequence already notice that the pattern is at 9 or plus 9. Okay, so we write out the first number 8. Okay, then 8, how to get 8? X plus, plus 9 is the pattern. The first number is 8, then we plus 9. Okay, how we get the answer 8 here? Okay, to get the answer 8 here, we must multiply by 0. Okay, 9 times 0 is 0. 0 plus 8, we can get 8. Okay, so try on on the next one. Okay, how we get the 17? Okay, how we get the second term 17? Same thing, we start with the first number, which is 8, plus the 9, the patterns. 
how we get 17, okay? If we have 1 multiplied by 9, which is 9 plus 8, we get 17. For the next term, which is 26, okay? 26, the first number also we start with 8, right? Okay, then the pattern is plus 9. How we get 26? Okay, by multiplying 2 with 9, we get 18. Then 18 plus 8, we get 26. Okay, we can see actually the patterns is follow the sequence. We're starting with 0, 1, and 2. Okay, try out for the next one. Okay, 35. How we can get the fourth term, which is 35. Okay, same thing, 8 plus 9, the patterns. Okay, if we multiply by 3, 3 times 9, we get 27. Then plus 8, then we can get 35. Okay, so the last one is multiply by 4. Okay, so we can get 45. Okay, when we see the patterns here, actually, we can make a conclusion that the number sequence can be expressed as 8 plus 9. The number changing here is n. Okay, you can use any of the variables beside n. You can use x, y, any of the alphabet. Okay, but the alphabet here is the variables, means that it's changing. The n must be from 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4. Follow the patterns, okay? So, therefore, we can write out the algebraic expressions for these questions, 8 plus 9n. Let's look for another example, okay? So, same thing, we describe the pattern for the number sequence, 2, 0, negative 2, negative 4, and negative 6 by using number, words, and algebraic expressions, Okay? So, to express or describe in numbers, okay, this is the sequence. So, we have to check out with the patterns, okay? How we get from 2 become 0. We can see actually this sequence is increasing or decreasing, okay? This is in decreasing order, okay? The number is getting, the value is getting smaller, okay? So, when number is getting smaller, either that is, Subtract or divide, okay? We try out, we can see the pattern 2, 4, 6, okay? We can check, okay, actually, from 2, 2 gets 0, we minus 2, okay? If from 0, we minus 2, we get negative 2, okay? If we minus 2 again, we can get negative 4, okay? Minus 2 again, we get negative 6. So, the patterns for this sequence is minus 2. So, we write in numbers, the pattern is minus 2, okay? So, how about express in words? Okay, when express in words, we just write out the sentence, okay? Write out the sentence, which is the sequence or the patterns for the above sequence is subtract 2 from the previous number. Next, when we want to write in algebraic, expressions okay for the same sequencer okay follow the way that i teach earlier questions okay so we are starting with number two okay and the pattern is minus two okay so we write out the answer two is equal to the number the first number two minus two the pattern okay so we put in or fill in with the number okay zero here okay we test or we check whether we can manage to get the 2 here or not, okay? So, 2 times 0, we get 0, okay? So, 2 minus 0, we can get 2, okay? Which is correct, okay? Try on the second term, same thing, we get 0 equal to starting with 2, the pattern is minus 2, okay? We put in 1, the number 1 here, okay? We check whether we can get the answer 0 or not, okay? So, yes, 2 minus 2, we can get 0, okay? For the next term, okay, how we get negative 2, okay? Yes, we put in the value 2, okay? When 2 times 2 or 2 multiply 2, okay, here, negative 2 times 2, we get negative 4. So, 2 minus 4, we can get negative 2, okay? The following terms, okay, we try and follow the patterns here, 0, 1, 2, then we put in the number 3 here. 
when we put in the number 3, 2 minus 2 times 3, so with this is 2 minus 6, so we get negative 4, which is correct, okay? So the next one, how to get negative 6, okay? So we can see the pattern here, then we put in the 4, okay? Uh, so 2 minus 2 times 4, which is 2 minus 8, yes, we can get negative 6, okay? So therefore, we can make a conclusion that the algebraic expressions for this sequence is 2 minus 2n, okay? So n is must be equal to either 0, 1, 2, 3, or 4, okay? So this is how we express or describe the pattern using algebraic expressions. Next, one more example. Describe the patterns for the number sequence 12, 36, 108, 324 by algebraic expressions. I believe all the students managed to express or describe the pattern by using words and numbers. But for algebraic expressions, maybe still need some practice, right? Okay, come, let us try another one. Questions, okay? So this is the sequence 12, 36, 108, and 324, okay? As usual, we observe the patterns of the sequence, okay? We can see the sequence is increasing order, okay? When increasing, either it is additions or multiplications for the patterns, right? Okay, so we try out to use additions, okay? From 12 to 36, how, we, how many that we need to add up, okay? So when 12 to 36, to get 36, we need to add 24, okay? So from 36, you want to get 108, we need to add 72. We can see it is now at 24 and 72, which is not a pattern, okay? So addition is out, okay? So now we try to see whether we can use multiplication or not. From 12, we want to get 36, we need to multiply by 3, okay? So multiply by 3, we can get 36, okay? From 36, we want to get 108, yes, we still can multiply by 3. So from 108 to get 324, 24, yes, still multiply by 3. Therefore, the sequence is multiplied by 3, okay? So after we get the patterns, okay, we need to write out the algebraic expressions, okay? First thing, we write the first number, which is 12. Okay, this is answer 12, right? How we get 12? Okay, 12, first number, we write first number. The pattern is multiplied by 3. Okay, so we need multiply by 3. Okay, followed by the number here. What number that we should put here? Okay, let's say if you put the 0 here, 3 times 0, you get 0. 0 times 12, we become 0. So can we get a 0, put a 0, multiply by 3 here? No, we can put a 0 here by using the power. Okay, if 3 to the power of 0 is equal to 1. Okay, so 3 to the power of 0 is equal to 1. So 1 times 12, we get 12. So the answer is correct. Okay, try on for the second one. Okay, uh, 12 times 3 to the power of 1. Okay, 3 to the power of 1 is 3. So 3 times 12 is 36. Okay, so which is correct too. Okay, for the, for the next term, how we get 108? Okay, the first number still 12, multiply by 3, try on the power of 2. 3 to the power of 2 is 9. 9 times, uh, multiply by 12, or 9 times 12 is 108, which is correct, okay? So the last one, okay? We try, those, you can see the pattern again, 0, 1, 2, 3. So we try out the 3 to the power of 3, okay? 3 to the power of 3 is equal to 27. So 27 multiplied by 12, yes, we can get 324, okay? So therefore, we can make a conclusion or we can write out the patterns of the algebraic expressions as 12 multiplied by 3 to the power of n, okay? So n is the variables which n can be equal to 0, 1, 2, and 3, okay? So this is how we describe the pattern using algebraic expressions. That's all for my class today. I hope every one of you can understand the subtopic 1.3.1 which is describe sequence in words, numbers and algebraic expressions. 
Let us do assessment for learning. Okay, AFL. Okay, assessment for learning is very important for the student to assess themselves whether they they are understand about the content or not. Okay, if you are understand, thumbs up. If you feel so so, thumbs horizontal. Okay, if you really not understand, means thumbs down. Okay. If you not understand about the content or Cassio cannot master the topic, please rewatch the video. Okay, you are welcome to leave any comment to me. I will get back to you as soon. Thank you for joining my class today. Don't forget to give my video a like and subscribe my channel. See you in the next video. Bye.